Going for an eyelash tint and lift. The packing has well and truly commenced. Make sure they're properly stuck on. And then this is the colour of my legs. I actually get quite a lot of questions about my gel nails. I'm off on me holidays. Woo! As you guys may or may not know, I've had this holiday booked for quite a while. I'm going to Egypt. However, it's currently two days before I leave and I am not prepared for it at all. But I always find preparing for holiday really satisfying, so I thought I would film it for you guys. This is going to include buying some new clothing, my fake tan routine, how I look after my skin, getting my eyelashes done. But without further ado, this is how I prepared for my holiday slash how I prepare for summer in general. I'm sure some of you guys may have seen a little while ago, I did working out as a model for a week. Don't get me wrong, I did find that video incredibly difficult. I just think five days straight of exercise was way too much for me. However, it did make me realise that actually exercise in small amounts isn't that bad. And I'm pleased to tell you that since that video, I have actually done a little bit more exercise. I'm not trying to work towards a summer body or anything like that, because as long as you've got a body, it is summer ready, in my opinion. I just think it starts to benefit my mental health more than anything so let's do a quick workout i shut my eyes trying not to speak pretend that i'm dreaming i smell your breath not listening but i still hear you screaming i am boiling i need to go and wash my face that is going to be my next summer prep Apologies for looking a little bit dishevelled, but I have just done a workout, so please don't blame me. You guys know that I'm really passionate about skincare, especially when it comes to the summer. I like to let my skin breathe, I like to keep it clean. So today, I want to share with you guys one of my favourite skincare products. So this is the Foreo Luna Mini 2, and I absolutely love it. I've mentioned it on my channel before, I absolutely swear by it. So I thought I would run through it with you guys. It's super easy to use, so the first thing you want to do is grab your cleanser. This is the one I use. This is the Soap and Glory the Fab Pore Purifying Foam Cleanser. Couple of pumps of this, lovely. Whack that on your face. You then just wanna wet your Luna Mini 2. Turn it on and choose your intensity. It actually buzzes every 15 seconds as well, so you know when to move on to the next section of your face. The silicone design and the pulsations are a super gentle way to clean your skin, but it's so much more effective than cleaning your skin with your hands. I literally love mine. I tend to use it after I've taken my makeup off or after I've done a workout. I honestly don't think I could do a workout without using this after. It makes me feel so much cleaner. Here's a little fact for you. The silicone design is really hygienic because it resists the buildup of bacteria, which is obviously really good for your skin. One charge lasts for up to five months and obviously you never have to change the brush head. So it's great for your bank balance and for the environment. I think skincare is so worth investing in. I would genuinely recommend this to any of my friends and family and you guys, of course. Then I'm just gonna rinse my boat race and dry it off. As soon as I started using this, I noticed that my skin felt smoother and softer and you guys actually seem to notice a difference in my skin as well. I hinted that I had a little secret. This was my secret. If any of you guys are interested in purchasing the Foreo Luna Mini 2, there is a link for you to go and check it out in the description down below. And then after cleaning my face, I always moisturize as well. So this is my favorite moisturizer. It's from the body shop. It is the Vitamin E Moisture Cream. Keep my skin hydrated and I am ready to go. Alrighty then, my next little bit of holiday prep is actually going for an eyelash tint and lift. I thought it would just be nice because then when I'm not wearing makeup on holiday, at least it still looks like I've got something on my eyes. I'm aware this is very close up, but this is the before of my eyelashes. Pretty much non-existent. This is what my eyelashes look like now. And you can actually see that I have eyelashes because of the lift. Amazing, very happy with them. But anyway, the next thing I'm gonna go and do is get my nails done. So right now, this is what my nails look like. They're just like a white tip ombre. I'm gonna get exactly the same. So I'm just gonna go and get infills because as you can see, they're starting to grow out. But I like these because they go with anything. I was gonna go for like a bright orange for my holiday, but I think I'm just gonna do that on my toenails instead. They're not that grown out to be fair, but because I'm gonna be away for a couple of weeks, if I left them, they would be really grown out by the time I got back. Alright my friends, the next step of my holiday prep today, so I obviously got my nails done earlier today, 
But I'm going to redo my toenails. I don't get my toenails done at the salon because I don't like people touching my feet. I've got really ticklish feet. So I just do mine myself. And I actually get quite a lot of questions about my gel nails. So I thought this would be the perfect time to run through the products that I use with you. I got all of this on Amazon apart from the actual nail varnishes. So the first thing are these two liquid solutions. This is the gel polish remover and this is the prep and wipe. Because with some gel polishes they can feel a bit sticky after they're done. So if you use this to wipe them over it makes sure they're not sticky anymore if you don't use this it's a disaster to remove my current gel nails and also to use the prep and wipe liquid i use these lint free professional wipes the actual gel nail lamp that i use is this one this is also from amazon this is the sun uv gel nail lamp this is like the same brand that they use in the nail salon i go to so that is why i got this one all of this will be linked in the description down below and then the actual nail polishes that i use are a brand called blue sky i know everyone has different opinions on blue sky but for me personally they've worked really well so first of all we have the base and the top coat I got these on the Blue Sky website, but you can get these on Amazon as well. And then all of my colours are also from the Blue Sky website. They have so many different options. This is what the bottle looks like up close. And this is actually the colour that I'm going to put on my toenails today. Okay, remover is on. That took me 13 minutes. But now, I think while my toenails are soaking, what a weird sentence, I think I'm going to whiten my teeth. I'm obviously going to wash my hands first because I've just touched my feet and that's a bit gross. I also get quite a lot of questions about how I whiten my teeth. I don't do it that often, to be honest with you, because I don't think it's very good for your teeth to whiten them, but... I am going to do it tonight. So the teeth whitener that I use is this one. I've had this for quite a while because I don't use them regularly. I originally got these on Amazon, but they don't actually have them on Amazon anymore. So if I can find the equivalent, I'll link those instead. I have got quite naturally white teeth. I am quite lucky, but I always do these for a little boost. Like I'd do it, for example, before a holiday or before like summer in the city or something like that. But it's definitely not a regular, every six weeks I'm going to whiten my teeth. I kind of just do it as and when. When you get them out the packet, they look like this. The longer strip is for your top teeth and the shorter strip is for your bottom teeth. These don't really taste of anything, but they don't feel very nice when they're in your mouth. Also, make sure your teeth are dry. Make sure they're properly stuck on. So attractive. Also makes you speak weird. It doesn't really, but I'm a bit dramatic. And then I pretty much just leave them on for as long as I can stand them. You're supposed to leave them on for 30 minutes, but I'd say I leave them on for about 15 or 20. But if you're planning on giving these a try, make sure you ask an adult first, because like I said, they're not good for your teeth, so I don't want to like fully promote it. I just want to be honest with you guys and show you what I use, because I get a lot of you asking me. It's been about 25 minutes, actually. And this is what the teeth whiteners look like now. They go kind of like blurry. The time is currently quarter past nine. I need to get a lot of work done before I go away in two days. I've left myself really short of time. So that is my next holiday prep, is getting work done. I'm still going to be working while I'm away. I'm going to be replying to emails and editing and hopefully uploading. I'm really hoping that the Wi-Fi is good. If I've missed a few uploads, I'm really sorry about it, but blame the hotel. I'll tell you the name of it once I'm home and then you can send them hate. I'm joking, don't do that. Anyway, yeah, currently editing and I have just downloaded, this is another holiday prep, I've just downloaded a series to watch on the plane. So, my series of choice... Da -da 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 -da. Game of Thrones my friends I've seen the first two episodes of the first series but I thought you know what everyone's talking about Game of Thrones I'm going to download it and I get distracted really easily but when I'm on the plane I thought that's the perfect time to start it but anyway I'm going to hop in the bath and then I think I'm going to do a face mask because we love a bit of skincare prep also here's the proof that I have actually been editing and not just listening to Adele I'm feeling sorry for myself it's now 10 to 11 at night and my mum and I are about to put these sheet masks on. The vitamin E range is my favourite from the body shop so I'm going to use this one and my mum is going to use this aloe calm sheet mask. We've got the masks on. <laughs> Don't you laugh, it's coming off. I think mean, it's taken 10 years off man. It's not an anti-aging one. It's Mine keeps off. dripping down my neck. Now we have to wait for about two hours. Hey! <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> We're currently sat here with our masks on. <laughs> We're watching Gogglebox, but I can't put my glasses on, so I can't really see it. So me and Mum are just sat here watching Gogglebox with our face masks on, and my dad's walked in like this. <laughs> Why have you put a plastic bag on? 
Hello everyone, day two of holiday prep. I'm about to go and make myself lunch. In the summer, I do tend to eat a little bit healthier. Not really for any particular reason. I just find that I fancy healthy foods more. So like fruit and veg and stuff like that, hummus and carrots. So that is what I'm gonna go and make myself now. So I guess it's kind of like holiday prep because it's going into summer and my diet's changing a little bit. But like I said before, not working on a summer body, just eating what I want to eat. I've got cucumber sticks, carrot sticks and some hummus. And then I've also got these little crisps with it, which are these hummus chips, sour cream and chive flavour. They're so yummy. So yeah, this is going to be my lunch. I'm probably still going to be a little bit hungry after this. So I'll keep you updated if I am and let you know what I have. Right, my friends, the packing has well and truly commenced. I've actually got really far with it and it only took me like maybe just over an hour. So in here, I've got pretty much all of my clothes that I'm gonna take with me. And I've still got so much room for like sun creams, etc., etc. This is a really nice suitcase. So it has like this part that opens up at the back. I've got my beach bag in there and my towel is in there somewhere. This is one of the books that I'm taking. In this zip, I have some of my shoes. There's my flip flops in there. I'm gonna put underwear in this little pouch and then this is all my clothing and my bikinis and stuff. These are some bits and bobs that I'm still gonna put in tomorrow. I am gonna bring this ring light with me. I know that seems a bit mad, but I wanna take some nice like makeup pictures while I'm out there. If it gets to tomorrow and it's too squashed or it's too heavy, it's not gonna come, but provisionally, this is coming. And I've also got different colored hair scrunchies. How cute is that blue one gonna look with that yellow swimsuit? Oh my God, these smell delicious. So this is the shampoo and conditioner that I've picked up. This is the Aussie Beach Mate Shampoo and Conditioner. I picked these up because it is literally for when your hair is outside in the sun all day. So I thought they would be really refreshing. This is my absolute favourite after sun ever. This is the Hawaiian Tropic After Sun Body Butter. This is actually really good with fake tan as well. After you fake tan, if you apply this, it helps your tan last for so much longer. I'm going to take this with me. I'll probably get through this entire pot in this holiday. I use a lot of it. I literally slather myself up before I go to bed in this. These are the fake tan essentials that I'm going to take away on holiday with me because I am going to fake tan probably just once when I'm out there. So the tan that I'm going to use is the Skinny Tan Pro Tan Moisture Mousse because this works really well. I'm actually going to use this tonight and it lasts really long so I know I'm only going to have to do this once while I'm away. This is the exfoliator I use. I definitely should have ordered a new one but at least it's not going to be heavy in my suitcase. Then we've just got some bits and bobs like toiletries, toothpaste, toothbrushes, lip balm. My lips always burn in the sun so I've got two SPF lip balms that I'm going to take. And then into my toiletries bag I'm just going to pop in my soap and glory purifying foam cleanser along with my Foreo Luna Mini 2 so that I can continue using those while I'm away especially after I've been all hot and sweaty all day lovely it's now the evening and I'm very aware that I'm not looking my best so I'm gonna hop in the shower and I'm gonna fake tan tonight Today is Saturday night and I leave on Monday. If you would like a fully in-depth fake tan routine where I like do it with a bikini on, then let me know because I'm happy to do that for you. But I'm not gonna include it fully in this video because I just think it would be too long. But this is the fake tan I'm gonna use with a little mitt, circular motions, you know how it is. And then I'll sleep in it tonight and wash it off tomorrow morning. So that's the current plan. Oh, I'm also gonna use a purple shampoo on my hair tonight. Hang on, let me grab it. So this is the purple shampoo that I use. I get it on Amazon. I actually did an ad with them ages ago and I absolutely love it. It's the Be Unique No Yellow Silver Shampoo. I'll link it in the description down below. These little pamper nights are so long but I enjoy them way too much. So guys I've just woken up and this is the colour of my tan. It's really even, it's not streaky and then this is the colour of my legs. I'm gonna go wash it off in the shower now. This one looks darker because the window is over here so the light is coming in at this angle. There we go. I feel like that shows the coverage a little bit better. Anyway, let's go wash it off. I've now had a shower to wash off the top layer of tan. I leave tomorrow morning, so I'm currently doing the last minute bits of packing, but I'm pretty much there, to be honest with you. I'm pretty much ready to rock and roll. You can kind of see now that my hair is like less yellow because of that shampoo I used. Absolutely love it. I want to say a big thank you to Foreo for very kindly working with me on this video. And if you guys are interested in checking out the Foreo Luna Mini 2, don't forget that there's a link in the description down below. Go and head over, read all the benefits, Reap all the benefits if you buy one. Trust me, your skin will thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below, are you going on holiday at all this year? If you are, let me know where you're going. I would love to know. Do subscribe to see my future videos, but for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye.